our special guest, Ms. Maya Baydan, today. We'll be having our lovely conversation here in Yeniköy campus. Welcome, Ms. Maya. Thank you, Ms. Melis. It's nice to see you again after this year and thanks for having me. I will be asking you rather easy questions, which all the parents have been struggling since the day one of the pandemic last yeah. day. How is it being a working mom during pandemic? Actually, it's, it's, it's very tough being a working mom without pandemic. So how it comes when we're passing through this unprecedented um, period of time. Since one year, I guess we are all sharing the same challenges, the same uh, problems. Um, the pandemic, something that came out of a sudden into our lives. We as adults, it's taking hard for us to cope with it. So how it comes when you need your children to deal with it, you need to understand the more you are uh, passing through difficult situation you are already exhausted and at the same time you have to be a good listener to be patient enough to cope with the challenges your child uh, is facing it's not easy at all but as we say we always have to look into the bright side of it um, for me, actually, if I want to speak about personal experience, it was really tough because even during the long lockdown period, my job requires me to be attending uh, to my work physically, to, to, to my workplace physically. I couldn't do remote, uh, I couldn't work remotely. So um, it's been, if you want, a um, double challenge because you need to perform your job, you have to be extra careful, you have responsibility at home, children, sometimes elderly, if you catch the virus you may spread it. So we passed through this tough time if you want. We took extra measures as much as we can, but at the same time we reached a point we have to deal logically with it. If it happened, it happened. We have to do our job and if it happened we have to pass through this like everyone else does. You need your children to face something very new to them. It changes their lives out of a sudden and at the same time you have to understand that they, can, um, they cannot um, adapt as quickly or as rationally as the adults. This was the hardest part of it. The good side of it, if you want to, to speak about the bright, bright side of it, the children maybe they got to know that life is not rosy all the time, that sometimes tough things happen and we need to deal with it. This, because it was um, uh, imposed on us, it's not something you can escape. So um, it took long but now, even the children, if you notice, they are more familiar with this life. They got to know that, okay, this is pandemic, lockdown, but we can manage in a way or, or another. So uh, this was a good part of the pandemic that at early age, you can teach or the children got to know that life has troubles, life has ups and downs, and we need to cope with it in a way or another. I know that you have two lovely daughters. One of them is in the middle school and one of them is in the primary school. I think you had a chance to observe two levels of education and two girls having difficulties doing the online education system. Can you compare or have you observed anything different between them? Yes, of course, especially uh, in my daughter's case, because one daughter is nine years old, the other is 13. With my little daughter, it was much easier because even the um, characters are different. The smaller one is much calmer. She has maybe more logic in her life. The elder one, she's um, hyper, uh, living her age to the full, if you want. So uh, yes, uh, I, I faced problems. But uh, the main challenge for me is that I have to be patient enough, but at the same time, there are rules we cannot break. For me, um, in normal life, I don't like this attachment to technology all the time, to social media. 
uh, I tried before that to control this thing. Maybe I take their phones for like four or five hours a day. During the pandemic, I had to be more lean, sometimes to give them blind eye because I know things are, are different. And as you know, the schools are going to be back running soon. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it? Are the girls excited to be back to school soon? Actually, there is two phases of it. Uh, at the first, at the first lockdown, when the pandemic starts, uh, all ch children were missing school, all of them. And they're missing socializing, missing their friends. Now it's been a year. Sometimes I notice they are missing getting back, mingling all together. And sometimes I feel as if they're getting used to lazy life. This part, what is worrying me, what is alarming. I'm very excited for them to, to go back to school, to start uh, you know, getting back their normal life. Children, they need to get back again. Okay, two days, maybe not enough, but at least they will get back into discipline. Online uh, schooling, staying at home, they lost the concept of discipline. Sometimes they are studying in their pajamas. They are not, they, I can't force them to sleep early. This is the problem. They are not doing uh, physical efforts. They are not feeling tired. So it's very important to get back to their normal life, even if gradual, to meet their friends in person again, not only through this small box online or Zoom, to meet their teachers, to feel, uh, to we we wear your, their uniform again, to feel that they have a duty to deliver today. And they belong to somewhere, they belong exactly. with their friends, they have to socialize with their peers and their yes. teachers. Because as you can understand, we all miss them so much, terribly. The building is so empty and so soulless without them. Yes, and of we're course, looking I can understand. forward to see them starting on day one, actually. How does TBS support you during this time? The main thing I noticed that um, uh, they were understanding. Uh, okay, I know like my daughters, like other daughters, sometimes they go lazy if I don't check up with them. Are you doing your homeworks? Are you studying? Not only finishing your homeworks. Um, sometimes they might uh, neglect it. Uh, the school is understanding this thing. This is what I like about it. They are giving sometimes extra effort through this focus learning uh, hour that if the child misses something, he can ask about it again. Um, this is the most important thing. Uh, they um, understood that the children need time to cope with online studying and you gave them this time. Uh, this is an important thing. How was the transition from face-to-face -face education to online education? They get the concept of online studying more than uh, when they first started. But um, uh, again, face-to-face um, -face learning, from my experience, is much more real, convincing and more serious for the children. Of course, being in contact, being in physical contact, having the real-life contact with the teachers and being exactly. close to their peers gives them emotional support and gives them boost for them to focus on their classes maybe because they are not present but whenever they're in the class they might be encouraged if their uh, um, friend ask a question oh, okay he's asking now let me um, uh, let me ask myself or or let me engage in, in this conversation or whatever is happening miss Maya, it was a pleasure having you as our guests after a long period thank you for your time again and please be safe. Thank you so much, Miss Meles. Pleasure was mine, really. Um, I'm the mother and I missed this building, missed visiting you. So how about my children? I hope this will end soon. Everyone will stay safe and uh, the children, the teachers, all of us will get back to normal life as soon as possible. Yes, thank we're, you. we're looking forward to seeing them all back in school. Hopefully, thank you so much. You're welcome.